All right, welcome back. <clears throat> so we're going back into information security, and now we're going to mitigate the risk of cross-site scripting attacks with helmet.xss filter. Okay, so again, the video number uh, two in this um, playlist is the most important video because if you don't have this project up, you won't be able to um, practice this, but here we go. Cross-site scripting, XSS, is a frequent type of attack where malicious scripts are injected into vulnerable pages with the purpose of stealing sensitive data like session cookies or passwords. This would make it, if you steal session cookies or passwords, you could log into other people's accounts, steal their data, do things that they don't want to do, that kind of stuff. The basic rule to lower the risk of cross-site scripting, XSS attack, is simple. Never trust users' input. As a developer, you should always sanitize all the inputs coming from the outside. This includes data coming from forms, Git query URLs, and even from post bodies. Sanitizing means that you should find and encode the characters that may be dangerous. E.g., they just put the brackets here, but that just means that there's like a code in there. Um, okay, so modern browsers can help mitigate the risk by adopting better software strategies. Often, these are configurable via HTTP headers. Create the risk by adopting better software strategies. Okay. The XSS pro protection HTTP header is a basic protection. The browser detects a potential injected script using a heuristic filter. If the header is enabled, the browser changes the script code, neutralizing it. It still has limited support. So use helmet XSS to sanitize input sent to your server. All right, this is incredibly vague. So let's pull up the code. I'll put this on the side. Uh, Helmet.xss filter. So the whole time we've been doing this, so my guess is that it's going to keep this. <coughs> um, where do we even get our parameters in here? This is where my lack of knowledge of Node is going to hurt me. Um, yeah. Well, let's go to chat GPT. Uh, how to sanitize parameters in a node app using XSS filter. Okay. So it's saying const helmet, express app, helm use XSS filter. This will add XSS protection header to your app's HTTP response with a value of one mode equals block. This header tells the browser to enable its built-in cross-site scripting filter, which can help prevent certain types of XSS attacks. Note that while Helmet XSS filter middleware can help protect your app from certain types of XSS, it's not a complete solution for XSS pre prevention. You should also take other security measures. Okay, so I guess you just plug it in like this, and then it just magically solves all your problems. So <clears throat> let's uh, NPM start. But before we do that, let's filter this out. <clears throat> I wonder how we could even test this. <clears throat> how can I test if x dot xss filter is working on my application? Uh, it's working in your node application. You can try injecting script tags with XSS payload into your app's input field. Uh, URL encoded test. Put received request body. Start your node app by running node. Node. Okay, not by running node. That's wrong. Open a web browser and navigate to local okay, test. All right, well, let's do this. Input received request tag. Submit the form. In the form input. Okay, so this, this is going to say that there's a test here. Um, alert XSS. Hmm. Okay, start your node app by running. Okay, well, there we go. App that URL encoded extended true. I wonder if we need that. App require express. Okay, we have all this stuff, so. Uh, this is uh, for testing purposes.
app.use, URL encoded, extend to true. Start your node app by running that. We want to go npm start. Open a web browser and navigate to 300 test. So here we have 300 slash test. Cannot get test. Yeah, see? So it's saying this is where chat GPT in 2023 of a April 2023 is not. <clears throat> it's just not right. Like that just doesn't work because it says uh, app dot post and then it says navigate to your browser, which is going to make a in the form field. There's no form field. There's no view there. Uh, um, local host. Let's see if it gets smarter though with with time. Three thousand test does not have a view and it's a post end point so making a git request via the browser doesn't work thoughts <laughs> um you're right post end point test doesn't get have a view so you won't be able to make, test it by making a git request instead <laughs> you can use a tool like curl an http browser open a browser okay cool input script localhost test okay so this is starting to look right if helmet xss is working correctly the middleware should block or sanitize the xss parameter all right so here we can create a new uh, terminal tab and we can copy this guy curl that input received xss script if the payload is not blocked or sanitized, you may need to check the implementation. Okay, so this isn't surprising because we have our filter uncommented, right? So let's save that, and then let's restart the server. Then let's go back to here and press up to run the exact same command. Input received. So, no change in behavior. Not good. If the payload is not blocked or sanitized, is working correctly, the middleware should block or sanitize the XSS parameter. Is there any change in this? Input received, alert, XSS script. Let's try it again. Input received. Shouldn't be like that. Well, let's see. Maybe if we just stop it again. Oh, maybe save. Oh, I didn't have it. The blue dot was there. So let's run it again. And now we'll come over here. Input received. No difference. All right. So, I don't think your curl command is testing the XSS filter function the way it's supposed to. Thoughts? Uh, you're right, my previous curl command may not be a good way to test helmet because the middleware operates an HTTP response header, not request bodies. I apologize for the confusion, it's got. Oh man, chat GPT. Here's an update for how to test helmet.xss filters using Express App in your app. So here we've got app.use, URL encoded, extended true. We've all got that in here, here. App.test, post, test, request, response, res.send. There we go. Install and configure helmet middleware in your app. We've got that helmet XSS filter. Start your Node.js app by running that. Open a web browser and navigate to test in the form field. Ah, see, it's not doing it. Okay. <clears throat> How to test if is working correctly. Okay, helmet XSS filter, here we go, extended true. How to use the helmet XSS in helmet XSS filter. Okay, we're doing it exactly the way they, they suggest. App.use, function, request next, header. Yeah, so this is just saying different ways to use it. Now, how to test if helmet XSS is um, um, protecting you against XSS attack. Uh, this looks like somebody's just made a video about it. 
Load it JS, XSS. How to install, how it works. Conclusion, how to install Helmet. We've got all this. Okay. It's just giving us all this stuff. Um, yeah. It's hard to say. I don't know. Why is this useful? It doesn't seem to be. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Git status. Okay, so git diff. Now we know that the only thing that we've added... Might as well just delete this for now. We don't want to commit this to our code base. Git status. Git diff. Okay, we've removed some lines and then we've put in this app.use helmet XSS. Now we haven't deployed this yet, so let's just see if Free Code Camp thinks our code is good. Because since we haven't deployed it, we should fail. Helmet access middleware should be mounted correctly. Test timed out. So the test timed out. I can't figure out what exactly the point of this is. So <clears throat> let's uh, just uh, deploy it. So we go git status. No, we already did that. So we want to git add. Uh, git add. We need to say what file it is. It's the, uh, instead of going dot, you can always go uh, myapp.js. And then our git status, which say that it's screen. So it's mounted. So git commit. And our messages say add helmet JS XSS filter middleware. Git push. Boom. Okay. And at the risk of sounding redundant, if we come back here, we see that we've just started a new deployment and the buttons are bouncing. So we'll get right back to you once the deployment is complete and we can check it on Free Code Camp. All right. So it looks like the deployment has been completed. I forgot a semicolon, but we'll put it back there later. Uh, I don't want to mess with that. Um, yeah, so like we can copy this, and if we take it over to Free Code Camp, we'll see if it worked. Uh, there we go. So we got it right. So I don't really know how to test to see if this is actually working, but you know, Free Code Camp's tests say that it worked, and hopefully this inspires you to look into what cross-site scripting is. Um, it's basically like. Uh, if an application is willing to accept your code, you can write specific um, code into the request in different ways. Or if it just accepts everything, you could just write stuff into that and you could just send that to um, different websites and then you could just get, you could pull stuff out. And so that, um, I'm really over my head here. I don't know exactly what it is, but this is uh, basically how to protect it using a node app, using HelmetJS. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.